what is going on, Pisces? We're going to tap in and see what's going on with you for the next seven days. See when your energy and what spirit has to say, okay? Not for nothing, I just started shuffling like this deck again because what was left off underneath was Taurus. Taurus is popping up in everybody's energy. I don't know if something happened in the month of May, okay, in Taurus season, all right, um, or end of April, right? Taurus also is in April, maybe like when spring started or something. I don't know. But it's something with Taurus season, okay, a Taurus or the month of May, all right? Um, yeah. So we're going to see. Somebody really tried to change your destiny. Somebody tried to end your, your freedom or something like that. Somebody tried to speak something nasty over your life. That's the energy. We got Gemini and Leo showing up. Somebody's trying to talk about your money or what you did for money or try to speak ill over your money, try to block your money. Somebody tried to get you blackballed, okay? Somebody's trying to blackmail you, all right? Look at that Capricorn energy showing up twice in my face. Somebody is trying to lie on your health, lie on your mental health. Somebody is trying to cause just a lot of conflict in your life, okay? All because you've detached from a situation, okay? And things are working out in your favor. Somebody is upset about this. Somebody doesn't like your glow, your glow up. Somebody doesn't like the actions that you're taking. Somebody doesn't like that you're in control of your own life right now. And it keeps speaking on you and speaking over you. And again, it's because you are free. You are free and you are moving forward. So, Divine Holy Spirit, what do we have here for Pisces energy? Oh, what I heard was, say I won't. So, it's like somebody trying you. And I feel like you want, nigga, I won't. You won't. <laughs> like, somebody came up to you and was like, word, Pisces, say I won't. And you like, you won't. Like, you want to see if somebody really bought that life. <laughs> like, you trying to see, are they really about that life? I don't know why I just seen somebody get um, body slammed in my head. You about to rock somebody fucking socks. Yup, we got an air sign. That's the fucking truth. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. I feel like you tired of somebody talking. You tired of somebody's words. You want to, like, be about something. Like, what the fuck? I'm not going to keep going back and forth with you. Be about something. Yeah, we got Pisces here. Pisces, here you are. This is you. You tired of something. You want somebody to be about something. Yeah, Scorpio. Finish this shit. Let's end this shit. Like, I'm done. Let's stop all this bullshit. Stop all this illusions. Stop trying to make people wear rose-colored glasses. Do something. Be about it. Somebody's like, you want? You won't, bro. Like you won't. You talking all that hot shit? You won't. There's a Pisces, Pisces out here. We got water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and we got Neptune here. Yeah. Heavy water energy. Pisces, this is you again. This is you, 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 you. This is all, this is, I think, you think the song is about you. You can be seeing 1221 or 2112. Okay. So, yeah, something major is going on this year. Somebody could have tried to kill your dreams as well. We got Cancer and Scorpio also showing up out here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're just like telling somebody like, yo, like, let's just, like, you, you hot shit. Like, you keep talking what you about to do, like. Stop running your fucking mouth. Do something. Yeah, Mars. You keep running your mouth. You keep lying. Look, underneath that ear. You keep gossiping. You keep saying what you're going to do. Like, you won't, motherfucker. And what? I said it. You won't. Yeah, we got Mars. We're going to lead us like this. So, you could be Pisces. You could be dealing with another Pisces or a Cancer or a Scorpio. They got Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Mars, or Neptune placements. Okay? But, yeah, let's get into this. Somebody is really testing you. Like, I get it. Your Neptune, your dreams, your, you know, the dream state, you know, your, sometimes people say, you know, that delusional type of thing, but you're not tripping. Like, you're not, ain't nobody about to walk all over you and like, think, make you feel like you tripping or try to have people out here thinking that you're tripping or something like that. Somebody like, somebody opened up their, I'm telling you, this is that, this is definitely that definition of writing a check somebody ass can't cash. Cause I feel like you're telling somebody do something. You keep saying what you're going to do. Do it. Somebody keep provoking you as well. I feel like somebody keeps trying to antagonize you. Yeah, and that shit is played out. Like, you're done. It's like, do something already. Stop running your fucking mouth. Like, I'm not going back and forth with you. 
Yeah, this is somebody who wants you back. Somebody wants you to, like, have a shouting match with them or go back and forth with them. Somebody wants this delusional shit. This is somebody who's hooked on you. Somebody who needs your energy. Yeah, and because they see you rising, stepping into your power. So somebody, like, wants to ride your hotel or try to get their little bit of 5, 10, 15 minutes of fame off of you. Like, what the fuck? What did Cardi say? About if they... Keep they name and they my father, huh, Meg? One of them said that about, you know, she say my name, you know, she get... Oh, Meg said it. Every time them bitches say my name, they get 24 or 48 hours of fame. Like, it's that type of shit. Like, somebody, yeah, creativity, I'm telling you. Somebody who needs to feed off of you. This is a copycat energy. Somebody who copies off your work, everything. It's like, I don't... Somebody, somebody keeps trying to provoke you. I'm telling you, like, they're... Stop copying me. Stop copying me. Yo, yo, why are you repeating me? Why are you repeating me? Yo, don't touch me. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. This, that type of energy. They're doing this because they need some sort of, yeah, and they're dirt digging. They're doing this because they need some sort of attention. Like, this is an attention seeker. Like, somebody cannot thrive if they're not, like, beating down on somebody or having some sort of confrontation with somebody. Yeah. And you're moving past this. Like, you're not even trying to deal with this energy. That's why, at this point, you're just like... Yeah, at this point, yeah, you're unbothered. At this point, you're kind of on some, yo, you won't, bro. It was like, somebody's like running off the mouth, talking on some, yeah, I'll do this to Pisces. i do that. Say I won't. Say I won't. And Pisces, you caught Winnipeg, and you like, you won't. I'm right here. You won't. What you gonna do? And somebody is like, on a hush-hush. Yeah, like, somebody can't believe it. Getting the proof of the facts. Like, be careful, because somebody also could be just trying to set you up so that... Like, this is that type... Of, I'm getting Karen type of energy. This is somebody who will, like, like I said, antagonize you. And then when you react... Oh, my gosh. They hit me. Help me. Oh, my God. And, it, like, kind of find out they the one who came out here trying to fight you. This is somebody who done showed up at your house, tried to fight you and all this shit. You come outside and you beat the brakes off them. And they want to call the cops. Oh, my gosh. They beat me up. They assaulted me. Oh, this is battery. But, bitch, you on somebody else's property. Like, make it make sense. Yeah, always partying. This is a fucking loser. Like, you're not bothered. You're minding your business. This person likes to talk hot shit around a lot of people. Get drunk and say what they're going to do to you and shit like that. Yeah, it's a groupie energy. They get drunk with all their friends and in front of all of these people and talk about what they're going to do to you. Kiss an ass. And I'm telling you, you're going to beat somebody ass. You're going to beat somebody ass. And when they, the cops and everybody, whoever show up and they the ones who get in the trouble, they're going to come back and try to kiss your ass. They're not going to want you to press them fucking charges. Somebody not going to want you to press charges. Yup, boss daddy. Because you on that BDE, baby. You stable. Somebody going to show up on your shit. Man, this shit weird as fuck. What was that I saw? It's their job to hate. We got Monday. It's their job to hate. Somebody in their feelings. And we saw all that water energy. Somebody in their feelings, they pissed off. But you're protected here. Somebody in their feelings. Yeah, look, secrets underneath. Their secrets has been exposed. Somebody know that somebody really a punk. Like, you're not about that life. You're not about any of the lives that you're trying to claim. Yeah, something going down today, Pisces. Possibly with a Scorpio. There could be some sort of truth or some communication that's coming out that is going to have somebody, like, dying inside. Yeah, we got February Pisces. Here you go. You could be a February Pisces, but you're healing. You're healed, okay? And you're like, you've been moved on from this situation, but somebody did not know how to let this go or does not know how to let this go, and they keep bringing it up. And now, like, I feel like it's something that's back nagging and it's bothering you. And you're just like, yo, at this point, what the fuck are you going to do? Because I can feel you. I feel you in my energy. Yeah. Yeah, like, you could feel somebody, like, stab you. I don't know. Maybe this person even got a voodoo down. And, like, you can feel it. Like, you can feel somebody just, like, on your body, on your back. And it's like, yo, what do you want, bro? Like, sis, what do you want? Yeah, and this is a crazy-ass person. But I also feel like you're protected, too, and somebody don't understand that. Like, they gonna run up and get done the fuck up. Like, this is... This is dumb. Like, people are dumb. <laughs> like, that's really all I have to say is that people are dumb. Somebody's trying to harvest off your energy. Like I said, what it say at the top? They've been warned. They've been hella warned. Yeah, this could be a transgender or, again, somebody who just be switching sides all the fucking time. Yeah, look at this. Pervert tendencies. This person could sleep with transgenders and don't want nobody to know. Hell, this person could... 
like role play they could dress up. I don't know. That's why your partner weird. <laughs> what the fuck? What's going on, Divine Holy Spirit? Yeah, January, you could be an Aquarius or dealing with an Aquarius. But again, you're healing. This is all about healings and new beginnings for you. You're not worried about that. Somebody definitely was trying to leave you left out in the cold. Somebody wants you to cut your dreams out. Okay, I may be a foolish dreamer, but let me dream. I know my love is out there waiting for me. Somebody wanted you to abandon, you know, your, your dreams, your aspirations as the ruler of dreams. Somebody wanted you to neglect and ignore your dreams. Somebody was trying to tamper and destroy them, make you forget about what it is that you want to do. Somebody wanted to stop you from healing. Somebody wanted you to feel like you were unlovable. I'm telling you, somebody was out here running off, popping off at the mouth, saying what they'll do to you and how, how they'll do you off and nobody's going to come to your rescue and help you. Nobody cares about about you all of this that 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 yeah three to five business days give it some time give it some time and even if it's not you actually being able to physically put hands on this your spiritual team about to whoop this person ass okay especially like especially somebody like this person who mm -mm. something could be coming out about this person's sexual health okay somebody got ed erectile dysfunction all right yeah, somebody's not able to have sex or somebody's about to be left out in the cold. Like somebody was trying to do something, you know, to like to steal a partner or have a partner. Somebody don't want to have sex with somebody no more. Somebody could be upset that somebody don't want to have sex with them no more. And they talking shit about you. Yeah, like they're, they're saying you're the six man. You came in, you interfered, but you're an angel. They weren't supposed to be there anyway. Yeah, somebody getting cut smooth the fuck off. And this is why some like yeah somebody's getting cut off from their their sexual supply or something like that. And this person about to come in talking all that shit, or they're gonna be talking all this shit about you, or they, whatever. Yeah, there's an ex husband here. Maybe you're not fucking this ex husband no more. This ex husband wanna come and meet in the middle of the night mines. Yeah, they're having going through a dark night of the soul at this time. Ooh shit. Yeah. This ex-husband, you probably not even, you're not sleeping with this person anymore, but this person wants to come and meet you, like meet at the middle of the mines because they realized something about you. They was out here wilding out and shit, fucking around with this fake ass spiritualist. They realized that, wilding out in the parks and shit. Somebody was having a lot of car sex. Okay, it's been going on. You're the last to know. But I feel like intuitively, Pisces, like you already knew, like you just didn't have that full proof. So I feel like you just moved on and you bossed up. Yeah, you cut them off because you knew that this, these people, this person was wilding. But somebody still got they got your name in their mouth. They can't let your ass go. Yeah, you had me at hello. Deja vu, love at first sight. Past life situation, Beyonce, she a Virgo energy. Yeah, and you see, and that's the thing. Like, just because you are the last one to know or because it's been going on behind your back, you intuitively knew to leave a situation. I feel like you could have even, like, met some people who was just, like, happened to just guide you down the right path. Like, and you just got out of a situation. You started, like, heeding the advice or listening to, like, the signs and things that are around you, okay? And you have definitely bossed up on these people. Like I said, something about April. We got Aries Taurus energy here. And I said something about Taurus. I said late April or May. Something happened where it's just like, oh, my goodness, right? And somebody's just talking this hot shit. Yeah, July, you're very successful. You're going to be successful or success is here. And three to five business days will be in like in a week will be in the month of July. Okay. You could be dealing with a cancer or a Leo here. Yeah, and somebody is big mad that you're still getting a success, okay? Yeah, there's op. There's an op who's fucking big mad. Hell, maybe if like you got an ex husband or maybe their ex husband there's an ex here who not sleeping with somebody. Whoever this false spiritualist they're not getting no more dick or whatever from this ex-husband and they're mad. They could have tried to like booty blind this person with his love as first sight. Like you had me at hello. We're supposed to be together. You're my soulmate. And now this person is realizing what the fuck did I just get into? And this false spiritualist is big mad because this husband material who could be this emperor, they woke the fuck up and realized what the fuck was going on and said, I'm not fucking with this no more. And now somebody mad. This false spiritualist is this op. Hell, this ex-husband could be this op. Somebody mad. We're going to put it that way. Yeah, the magic eye was here. Somebody's mad as fuck. We're just going to put it that way. And somebody's going through the dark night of the soul because karma. 
Somebody's going through it because karma's coming in. And like I said, like, I feel like you know, right? Even though, like, I feel like as far as, like, having the actual verbal confirmation from, like, people or whatever, like, to be like, oh, did you know this? Like, you already know. Intuitively, you already know. Okay? Okay. So let's get some tarot. Yeah, father of nines. Time is up. Okay? Time is up. Time is up. Sun's being exposed. Yeah, you're moving forward. Six of knives. Uh, somebody didn't think that, like, you could move forward. Somebody could have been trying to, like, keep you emotionally stuck on something. But you move forward. Like, you're not you're unbothered. Like, you're not dealing with this. And somebody keeps trying to poke the bear. Like, run up and get done up. Somebody keep trying to play with your emotions and don't know that you about that action. Somebody want to keep fucking with you mentally and emotionally and don't know that you about that physicality. About that action. Right? Yeah. Four sticks here. This is all about your stability, a relationship coming together. You know, a divine counterpart. You know, a marriage. Um, something solid. Um, a rooted foundation. Right? This is what this is about. Planting roots. Having solid ground. What's going on for Pisces placements? Yeah, ten of coins in reverse. Somebody done lost it all. You could have went through a divorce. Maybe this ex-husband took everything. Okay. Yeah, five of coins. This ex-husband took everything from you in the past or something like that. Fucking off with somebody or doing some sort of sex magic. This false spiritualist got this ex-husband to like give them everything, leave you out in the cold. Right? Try to lie and say, oh, you're supposed to be with me, not with them. I can make this happen for you, blah, blah, blah. And now somebody big mad because they realized they was dealing with an op. This ex-husband could literally be this masculine who's realizing that they need to leave a situation. And they're the last person to find something out. I feel like somebody's trying to figure out this ex-husband could... You could be this, this ex-husband, Pisces. And you're just finally figuring this shit out. And I feel like you had an angel in your life the whole time who was trying to tell you some shit. But you could have told this person that... Pisces, you're the dreamer. You're the sixth man. Somebody told you that you was foolish for whatever you were saying. They didn't want to meet you at the middle of the mind. Now they're pissed off. You could have cut this person off because they was out here fucking off. Fucking on any and everybody. Fucking in cars and stuff like that. And now you're sitting here and you done glowed up and you're being successful. And this person is mad because they fell for an op. This false spiritualist. Somebody who was doing sex magic on them. Who was lying to them. Okay, this even could be like a siren type of energy here. I seen somebody eyes. Yeah, we got a king of wands here. Now somebody want to come in and take some sort of action. Yeah, to a baskets towards this relationship again. I'm telling you. Father baskets energy. Oh, father of sticks. My bad. I don't even know why I said that. Maybe this person will be a Scorpio and have Scorpio placements. But father of sticks, that's um father um king of wands. So Leo energy. Or Aries. So somebody named could be Riley. Okay. Again, James. His name James. James or Jim. Okay. Um, something about the 19th or 2019. Somebody's name could be Alex. Somebody could be from New Orleans or Mississippi. Somebody could drink a lot of brandy. But right now you have a vision. There's a vision. You're very adventurous and goal oriented. You're wise and trustworthy. Okay. Somebody's realizing that about you. A natural born leader. Right. You could have said something. And somebody's like, like I said, this ex-husband, they fell for an illusion or some shit like that. I don't fucking know. But now it's like you have stepped into this masculine energy yourself with this April energy. Like I said, masculine, you bossed up, you've handled business. Despite any losses that you may have taken, it didn't matter because now you're becoming successful. You've healed all those wounds. You're going towards a relationship. Yeah, and it's crazy. I said father baskets. You're going towards a relationship with somebody who is loving and enduring. Somebody who genuinely cares about you. Yeah, and then somebody want to come in and run off at the mouth with this son of knives. Like somebody's coming in to betray you and stab you in the back. You could have an option of two men coming towards you. Not for nothing here, Pisces. Okay. This king of baskets. Somebody name could be violet or the color violet is very significant. Or what chakra is that? Your crown chakra, the knowing, exactly. Like like I said, it's been going on. And even though people want to feel like you're the last to know, I feel like you've intuitively always known this. Like you've already received the download. You just didn't have like the actual like hardcore evidence proof. And I feel like it is rolling out now. But you've always known. Okay. Somebody could like to fish. Somebody could eat crabs. Blue, again, somebody got a blue waffle. Okay. I I'm sorry. Somebody could be doing mirror magic. Okay. Something about silver. Okay. So, and it reminds me. 
or this dream that I had some time ago. And it was like around all the other things in the dream. But the biggest thing was the dude had told me to go. He gave me like this silver coin and it was like, I don't know, it looked ancient. And he told me, go in this house and you're going to see an old woman on a sofa. Put it on her lip. And I was just like, what? Like, and I went in there like, like, y'all see, I'm a black woman, right? I went in the house and it was like, like, these people were not my skin color, okay? They were like lighter than me, different shades, but like most of them were like mostly lighter than me or like fair skin. And I remember going in and I put this coin on this lady. I put it on her lip. Like her mouth was like hanging. Like I, so in my field, like, so I could tell like she was at her nearing, like, I don't know if she was on hospice or something, but she was like on her final minutes of life, right? Like this woman, she was doing the the breathing, like the gurgle, everything. And I was like, well, why would I put this on here? And I don't know if it's something like, you know, like, I don't know. I'm thinking about like mummies or something, or it's like, you know, like a peace thing or matter of fact. I study um like Roman and Greek mythology and stuff like that when I was in middle high school. And I remember like when people would like pass away, they talked about how like they would put like these special coins on them so that it can pass into the underworld or whatever. So that's essentially what, what it was. Like I was putting this coin on this woman or whatever. But it's like when I placed the coin on her lip, she came back alive. And like, I don't know, like she... Her skin like got smoother and it wasn't as wrinkled. Like her gray started flushing out. Like she started to look younger. Her appearance like she woke up and it was like everybody just got pissed off at me because I put the coin on her and it's like I woke this woman up out of this slumber and she was like beautiful and everything. Like I don't know, it was weird. Like and these people were all standing around. Like nobody was crying. They were all just like standing there waiting. Like is she dead? Is she dead? Did she die yet? Is she dead? Like they was waiting to get something off of this woman. But when I came in and it was like, I just placed the coin on her, she woke up and came alive and she was like this young, beautiful woman. And everybody just looked at me and was so mad. They were so freaking mad. And then like, they all started chasing me out of the house and like, I ran out the house by the tree. Nonetheless, the guy who I was traveling with, like I'm dating myself and whatever. But if you ever seen Quantum Leap, he was like the guy who used to um always have the background in the stories. Like I was with him and it was like, I was that main character dude who kept quantum leaping in my dream so something about that too somebody could be like astral projecting or it's like like a timeline jump there's a timeline jump that's happening as well okay but yeah with this father of baskets um this is a nurturing father or provider like this is somebody who's coming in to do this and somebody sees this okay hell this ex-husband maybe you got kids with them they're coming back because they see that you know you you stepped up to the plate and you did what you had to do no matter what, because we all have masculine and feminine energy, but you stepped up to the plate and handled what you need to handle. Granted, you could have lost everything, but you reestablished yourself and got, got everything back together, right? And now, this is somebody who's looking at you. This could They could be somebody, honestly, who has kids, or, you know, they're very nurturing and loving, and they want to come in, right, and provide. Like, somebody's watching you go through and, like, provide so heavily, and it's like, they want to come to provide. And it's crazy, because it's masculine, you know, he do got the braids, which is, you know, of Native culture. But it also would give me, like, you know, if I was looking at it, like, a woman and a man, and, like, a man seeing a woman and like this stern masculine energy he's like look i'm gonna come in and bring out her soft side so he's coming in to provide okay this is a kind generous diplomatic and tolerant person they're very reliable resourceful honest and wise okay this person could like to fish there's something about boats or being on water okay oh yeah because then we had the son of knives but I feel like somebody's trying to come in and like speak above this person or over this person before they can say anything. Yeah, gunko, clever, persuasive. I feel like negative though, like pushy, aggressive, two-faced, gossip, a hustler. Okay. This person has a switchblade and a razor. Like I said, somebody's bringing a knife to a gunfight. They're trying to stop something for you here. What is this? Yeah, but justice is on your side. Dr. Buzzer, Libra energy. Like, justice is on your side regardless of whatever somebody is trying to do to you. So, I don't know why people do shit. I don't know. But this comes from Ezekiel 25, 17. Yeah, you're having a breakthrough. I say that. My, well, yeah, you're having a breakthrough. And I will execute great vengeance upon them with furious rebukes, and they shall know that I am the Lord when I shall lay my vengeance upon them. Yeah, so the person who stripped you of everything, like I said, people, they're getting stripped. You might want to go back in and actually check out that Aquarius message, especially with Aquarius showing his face twice, because it talked about somebody needing to testify in court. Okay? Okay. So, Dr. Buzzard, somebody could go by the name Lady 
okay? Um, somebody, again, the name could be John. Somebody could um, smoke cigarettes or, like, chew-chewing tobacco. Somebody's name could be Steve or Stephen, okay? Somebody could be born in the 60s or and um, somebody could have been born in 1947, an elder, okay? Um, somebody could be from South Carolina. Somebody's name could be Helen. Somebody could have the initials J E M T or B. Okay. Somebody's name could be Bo. Okay. Or Buford. Um, somebody doesn't have their license. Somebody is operating something without a license is I just saw like that little boy who was like posing as a gynecologist, but obviously he had no like license or anything to practice that, but he was like, he was serving all these clients. Like, this is that type of thing. Or, like, all those women well, um, down in Florida, right? So, Florida could be significant. Or all those fake nurses down in Florida who, like, all had them fake licenses and all them fake degrees and stuff. It's given that. Like, it's given that. Somebody getting caught up for being fake or doing something that they don't have the, like, the credentials or the true, like, knowledge and understanding of doing something. Okay? Um, You're a legend. Pisces, okay? I, I don't know. I just feel like I need to let you know you a legend, okay? God got you. Um, so at the end of the day, like, yeah, something wasn't fair and you figured out how to resolve it. You became a leader and you took action and because you didn't cry and whine about something, right? About a poster, like whoever this energy is, because honestly, this energy is a crybaby energy and like they whine and fuss and, you know, they make up, make all these scenes and talk about the shoulda, coulda, waters and what they gonna do, right? But like I said, you won't. Like, I feel like you're saying you won't because they, you know you will. You showing up as this king of wands. You will. You about that life. You about action. But you know that this person won't. With this father of bastards energy, this person is just emotional. I'm not going to say that. That is so, like, I'm trying to, because I know how YouTube has been, like, with the whole censor thing. But, yeah, no, somebody pussy. That's what it is. Somebody pussy. Okay, and somebody do want to still come in. They want to come in and they want to try to say something. They want to be slick or whatever. But I feel like you slicker. <laughs> they want to be quick, but you quicker. Yeah, the death card, ancestors. It's it's a no. Somebody better not. Like, I'm telling you, somebody going to get that ass molly wop. Done the fuck up. Yeah, ten of baskets. Somebody going to get their ass whooped in front of their friends and their family. <laughs> Or somebody about to be saying their final goodbyes to their friends or their family. Or somebody ancestor is coming in to take out a community or their own family member. Again, because again, it's like in that dream. This was family. Like this family was like waiting for somebody to pass away. Like they tried to age somebody out or like kill somebody off or something like that. Okay, because I'm a habit to my... I heard morphine and then... But I heard pink. I'm a habit to myself. Don't let me get me. Somebody got, somebody didn't, people didn't prevent this person from getting to themselves. Somebody lets this person know. People let this person allow their head to get so big and so big and so fucking big. This person could be a bigot. Okay. And now they just feel unstoppable, but it's like something, they're being stopped in their tracks. Yeah. The ancestors is the death card. Proverbs thirty seventeen. The eye that mocks at his father and despised to obey his mother. The ravens of the valley shall pick it out and the young eagles shall eat it. Somebody could even try to sacrifice their own parent. I'm telling you. Or somebody other bloodline. Their ancestors is like, what? No. Stay in the child place. Somebody could be getting taken out or sat the fuck down. Like, I'm telling you. Somebody getting sat the fuck down down Pisces you've had you were born with your gifts somebody could be trying to create these gifts or get these gifts or steal these gifts maybe they was trying to take it from that's what I'm saying like I help resurrect somebody or like help somebody stay alive and whatever I did it pissed off people in the dream okay so I don't know like Pisces like you're getting your mojo back or you're helping somebody else get their mojo back and it's pissing this group of people off because Something got to change. Something has to end. All right? Like, I feel like something's about to be exposed about a family, about how some parents was raising somebody. They allowed somebody to do something. Somebody's parents could have been helping them do some shit as well. Mama or daddy. We got a lot of daddies out here. So somebody dad could have been helping them do some shit. Okay? Or maybe their um, paternal bloodline. You know, maybe that's where they learn how to do all the shit that they're doing or trying to do against you. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to mourn, but you must let go. 
because life goes on. Somebody's upset and butthurt. Like I'm telling you, somebody is talking hella shit because you've overcome something. Justice has been served in your favor. And again, I'm going to say it for Pisces. You won't put the past behind you and start over because Pisces has. Like somebody is not letting something go. Like you won't. What you going to do? You won't. Especially on a fair one. I heard it. Yeah, Nine of Swords. Somebody is fucking scared. Somebody is scared because of the amount of control that you have. I feel like you're controlling your anger. You're controlling your words. Like, you have control over the situation. Being in total control here. She's a bitch, okay? You might want to go check out Sagittarius Reader or you're dealing with a Sag. I don't know why. I haven't looked up none of these um, minor cards. Yeah, Lavender. Somebody need to take a chill pill and go to fucking sleep, Okay? But just suffering is over, okay? Somebody could be depressed or having, like, heavy anxiety. Talk to a therapist. Get something. Look, for anxiety, there's these nice little things called boost bars, a boosterone, okay? It helps with your anxiety. You know, you're depressed. There's plenty of meds. Sertraline, uh, fluoxetine. We can go on and on. Go seek help. Because to be this deranged and then like get mad when you get called out and then want to approach somebody and see them because your secrets is getting aired out and all of this shit and you're getting cut off. You want to be mad at somebody and want to still keep talking this hot shit, keep trying to throw towels in their life and stuff like that. Stop it. You won't. I'm saying it for Pisces. Whoever you are, karmic energy, you won't. You won't. And then we got John Horse. Somebody that could definitely be John. I'm not reading that card, but that's about taking charge. Like, you're taking charge. The stress is over. Like, you don't have to worry. Somebody out here just bobbing for apples and they not getting shit. Like, they not. Did I even do birthdays? Oh, the only birthdays that could be relevant is in December. December 24th, 21st, and the 17th. I realize I ain't give the numbers. So, let's see. Let's close this out. What do we have here for Pisces, Divine Holy Spirit? Final message. Yeah, final message. I'm not even going to look into that. It is what it is. Final message here for Pisces. When a door doesn't open, don't waste your energy trying to make it open. It is closed for a reason. You are being redirected to something far bigger and better. Endings are a part of the cycle of life. They make way for wonderful new beginnings and opportunities. So, yeah, don't need, like, not for nothing, Pisces. Like, I feel like you already probably even told this person you won't and they still ain't doing nothing. So, don't even entertain this anymore. Somebody just likes talking and likes being heard. Somebody is, like, an attention seeker and they get this off of other people. Like, they have to um, interrupt other people like i like i tell you like this is somebody who'll do anything for 15 seconds of fame right they don't care like i don't know it's sad keep moving forward even if you are unsure of your next step or where it may take you trust that you are walking the path you are meant to walk remember we are walking it with you trust yourself more all right pisces so that has been your message guys all right i don't know that shit just irritated me so I'm going to go outside and go talk to the birdies and breathe and all of that. I think we're getting rain in my area later today. So I'm going to try to soak up as much as I can of whatever little bit of sunlight is peeking through the clouds. But Pisces, this is your message. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You know I've lo I love your face, right? But not as much as I love you. So until the next time we speak, peace out.